Okay, so let's break down Blue Liquid. Uh, here in the intro, I'll, I'll play you what I do. I'm, it's mostly strumming some chords and a bunch of percussion. So uh, it goes like this. That's pretty much it. Does that four times, and that gets you through the intro. What are you guys doing? During the intro, what you got going on, Cal? It's just stuff. a little kind of pattern to go behind that. All right, try it yeah. Cool. Nice. And the gang. That was nice. <laughs> what do you got in, Trevor? Yeah, so here, um, I let you guys come in for um, the, the first little while, sort of just sit out. And, uh, it, you know, the, the, uh, the low chords that you have going on in this section, I thought maybe just doing something a little more melodic with this uh, kalimba here. So if you may not have one, that's okay. You can, you know, uh, maybe figure it out on the fretboard or something. But uh, I just want to have something sit over the top of that. So I have... Right? And I like melodies, you know, old folk melodies that will establish something, and then, you know, the next part will repeat the first part and then sort of change the last part. All right, so there's kind of almost call and response in the melody itself, and uh, just sort of sets up getting into the verse from there. And then we try that. We try it all together? Yep. Okay. Two, three. So next up, uh, sort of the verse part, I guess you could say, or the A part. So let me show you what I do here. It goes like this, play it slowly. So, Callum, what do you got going on here? A whole lot of nothing. A whole lot just, of nothing? That is so beautiful what you're doing. I didn't, you know, I just wanted to let that shine and then later, you know, maybe add a little bit of color, but yeah. that's just, yeah, you got to leave, you got to know when to play and when not to play. And that's a moment to just be in awe of that. Mm -hmm. Oh man. So yeah, this is a, I guess, kind of a recurring theme sometimes you'll see now in these lessons where if there's a main sort of theme, a lot of times we'll leave it as it is, so the mm -hmm. other, uh, so it kind of makes the initial mm -hmm. statement, and then mm -hmm. add in some color when it comes back around again, because this thing comes in two or three times. So yeah, okay. What yeah. about you? Are you same here? Yeah, just letting it breathe, okay. uh, letting the, the the theme get established, and then both Callum and I will come in at the next section with this sort of call and response, and that's when it feels like you know we've started off as the trio, and then it really goes into this sort of spotlight focus on the beginning of your composition, and then it expands again, and it's a nice effect. Yeah. yeah. Up to that point, it's just me on that right yep. there. Okay. So here's what happens next, then. I'll come in with this. Sure. 
just listen to that all day long, you know? <laughs> Golly, but gee, we love that. <laughs> <Listen>. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful chords, you know, I just can't get enough. Yep. Um, all right, so what have you got coming into that part then, Calum? Well, I'm actually kind of doing an echo call and response with Trevor. He starts oh, you, this so you phrase, start the phrase, and then we right, kind of yeah, have right. this dialogue back and forth while you're playing that part. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so uh, with this part, um, taking like a sort of a C, you know, capo on the fourth fret, but sort of a C position here, and I really like adding, right, adding the six into that C sound because instead of like, you could do that more of like a major seven, but there's a really warm thing that complements the chords yeah. that you're playing, uh, and then I sort of pull that off, and then I change that sort of call and response as you do a call and response too, so it's like we're kind of echoing each other as well as you, both you and I, you know. And I go. So you had an end on the third there, then I have a little. So right. sweet. I love that sound. Yeah. And when, it, when you can use like a harmonic, it's like that gives you the almost piano sustain pedal, a lot of guitar. Uh, music we think in terms of blocks that get from one fret to the next but when you can have something that sustains throughout a transition from one spot in the fretboard to the next it's really really fulfilling to play that way and then I repeat that same thing and then here I just end it slightly differently right there and then as Andy does, you know, uh, there's just a little break there. And then just sort of complementing some of his chords down here. Right? And so if you hear in isolation, it doesn't sound as nice. But we'll try just those yeah. last few sure. to hear so the... Yep. And so it stays like a little bit sort of... Um, there's some major seconds in the lower voicings, which all that means it feels a little bit muddy. And that's because I do this two more times in the, um, uh, in the song, and I sort of just sharpen up a little bit of the harmony there, but I like the open feeling of it first, and then it gets more colorful each time I do that as it goes. Cool, and so you've got some response to that? Mm-hmm, yeah. Your part. So kind of this A-flat uh, pentatonic thing in harmonics, actually, be it the seventh fret and 12th with the capo. One fretted note. I love that. Jeez Louise. <laughs> and then to close. Oh, that looks so beautiful. <laughs> Jeez. Should we uh, do that together? Mm -hmm. Sure. Slowly, kind of? Okay. Two. nuts <laughs> all right well uh so then it goes back into uh kind of the a part again um there's a little variation so let me just show you what happens there starts out the same way Now, this is the one you guys didn't play on it the first time, right? This part. 
Uh, you I guys let me right, establish that's right. that. Exactly. So now, now you guys do come in, right? Trevor does on this one. But, and I only, but I think only at one part I go like something oh, like that. that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. So just to let something ring, and it, again, it's something slightly different, um, just to keep the uh, you know the ear searching for those little ear candy things. I guess the, we like to do that, plant little things throughout. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that still just gives Andy the the composition to breathe with a slightly different scene change, and uh, yeah, it builds up to we're yeah. all in the trio together. Just those little notes right there just adds a lot. It really does. It it just gives it like a texture and that kalimba sound. You know, um, you could play those notes on the guitar, of course, too. But such mm -hmm. a beautiful sound that just ringing out. Yeah. But it has different. Cool. So that's that, I guess. Yeah, there's, there's mm -hmm. no, no, nothing, nothing else going on there that's different. Um, we go back into the B part. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have mm -hmm. some variations in there at all? Or? I think we stay. The ending is the slightly ending different. Changes, yeah, yep. so let me just show you that. So we gets back into... Um, The, the turnaround that gets us into the next section. Um, what have you guys got going on? Well, Trevor's got a little variation, but I thought with what he's got going on with your part, I felt it was best just to keep my part consistent and then do something different on the next section. Okay, mm -hmm. so you've got I that think sort I of still have the We're still doing that, yeah. So I'm pretty cool. much just yeah. doing like, and then moving this up. And this is one of my favorite chords. It's sort of like a version of like a an inversion of like a G major nine, but mm. right. And then going, which is the same, but it just sets up really well what you're doing with your harmony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. And you've got something ringing out there. Is that right? Or or. Yeah, just the last part. And then you guys go four bars into the next part. And one thing you really want to be mindful of when orchestrating for multiple instruments is, you know, if you all start together, you only have so much room to grow dynamically. Yeah. But if you really let it drop out like we did in the first verse there, anything you add is just going to bring it up totally. a little more, right? So I thought if I stay out the first four bars, we have room to build mm -hmm. through the solo section. Awesome. Yeah, brilliant. All right. So... From there, we go into the uh, next part. I don't know, C part at this point or whatever. <laughs> um, so the next section we have, coming down here now. Okay, so index finger on the third string. I'm going to walk up over here. I'm going to start doing harmonics with the right hand on the seventh fret. I'm going to come up to 12 now. the very end just a little note I'm fretting the harmonic and then pulling this off to get the harmonic to actually uh, pluck it okay and that's the whole sequence just does that twice so maybe one more time Okay. 
So with Andy's part going on uh, during that, I wanted to just stay out of the sonic space and uh, of that and reintroduce the kalimba. So I have kind of a simple melody that just goes... Right? And then, again, like a uh, traditional folk melody, sort of expand it a little bit. Right? And that repeating sort of you it introduces it, and then uh, it repeats it a lot uh, during that section. I think that gives um, the whole part uh, some space for Callum's Evo part to come in at that, that part and just have, have a moment to really shine. Yeah, so the... What you two have got cooking there is beautiful. So I wanted to just add a little bit of, you know, space and this kind of atmosphere way in the background, you know, kind of fill out the chord just coming down. So really just using the ebo going down from B, half step, full step. Maybe we try that together. Sure. Sweet. Okay. <clears throat> At this point, uh, it goes back up through those chord changes from earlier. Back into the big open 12th string, or 12th fret harmonic. <laughs> All right, so uh, what have you guys got through that turnaround at the end? So during that section, I'm changing the harmony just a little bit of the kalimba uh, chords, uh, just to, to echo that, so before I did. And now this one, I'm giving just a little bit more color to it. Oh, nice. And that's sort of grabbing some notes in the chords that you don't have there, so yeah. that together it forms this kind of other expansion chord. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you want to try those together? Sure. Uh, so from the... Yeah. Dun, okay. Dun, dun, dun. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, you guys. And do you have anything going on in, in there? Yeah, just kind of holding that, the, just as you guys are going into that, kind of, you know, usually have a volume pedal, kind of swell that in and just really bring that part up in energy mm -hmm. and open it up. So when we get into that part again with percussion, then it's right back to the, Oh, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's kind of building into that. Cool. You want to try that? Just that little turnaround. Sure. Sure. With the evo. So at that point, it goes back again to the A section. Um, I don't have any variations on that one, so this one's like the first one rather than like the second one. 
as far as the A parts go. So it's all just the same again. Um, how about you, fellers? Uh, yeah, I'm just doing a slightly different, uh, you know, I, I did sort of an initial, right, or a variation of that uh, in, I guess, the second verse. So this time I'm just going, uh, right, I do that in the middle of it, and then on the way out when we get back to sort of the main chorus thing, right, so I just like... A uh, slight, slight scene change, but uh, th those high notes um, really ring out, especially with the reverb, with the kalimba, when we're doing this live, that has like a nice tail to it and sets up this, uh, going back to that section uh, nicely. I like that. Good. Little uh, Yankee Doodle, <laughs> Danny McKee. <laughs> Danny McKee. <laughs> <laughs> no, for this part, is very similar to the beginning. I just come in one sooner to match you on the right. So do that line in unison, mm -hmm. and then the second one's the same. So maybe we try it together. Yeah, let's do it. Two. this point it goes back in again to I guess you call it the B part and I pretty much do the exact same things but sometimes I syncopate the chords a little bit the harmonics so it goes like this like that rather than doing like one at a time it's on the upbeat So just those little syncopations, the only change I do on that. Mm -hmm. How about y'all? Yeah, my, uh, pretty much everything's the same except the very ending of that, uh, getting to the next one. So still that sort of call and response that we have. Uh, we can probably play, play that together. Okay. Two, three, four. doing there is just kind of a, a triad here and then going up to the inversion um, and then uh, first inversion triad the next chord there and then allowing that sort of four chord um, and then you have that do 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 that descending and it's nice with that ringing out that really brings into the next section uh, opens up the space for you to do that and then you're pretty much doing the same as before though that's right, right. Okay, and you've got those mm -hmm. variations. Uh, next, it goes back into the, I guess, C part. And here we've got some different stuff from you guys, I think. I do the same as before. Everything's the same, so. Mm -hmm. uh, what, do you, what have you guys done? I, I'm just kind of like varying. All right, I'm keeping that melody going, and then I'm going. All right, so just a little bit of call of response into the own melody going back and forth, and I'll intersperse that mixed to taste, you know, uh, just how I'm feeling it, um, you know, just give it a little variation. Yeah, and just kind of same thing as before, instead of descending, I'm ascending, going up a third, back, and then up a third, and then this little melodic line that comes in, so starting... It goes up to... And just very background part to what you guys are doing, bending in.
Very simple. All right. Should we try it together? Sure. sure. Okay. All right. Two. We good? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Well, after that, it just goes back into the intro thing. Um, there's one little change I do on the percussion. Show you that real quick. Third, uh, third time through, there's that little change. Let's do it like that. Okay. Uh, leading into that, I have like, just a slightly different chord. I started with this one initially. I really liked the sound of going. Right. Um, right leading into that section. Um, and then from there, I have to immediately go back to the beginning of. Right, and I sort of do that over and over, and then I end with. So your last one has a nice kind of send off there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that harmony. Yeah. The low kalimba notes uh, just give a little bit more texture. Um, I have, I designed this one, uh, the two octaves chromatic, but I have a little color coding system. Uh, I use sharpies to you know give the colors on the edges of the tines. Uh, so um, I'm just going to a lower version of a, a B and a G sharp down at the bottom. And so I just have to remember, go to blue. And that's my <laughs> color down there. <laughs> blue liquid. Go blue liquid, that's right, <laughs> exactly. <you> Serendipitous. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got going on at the end? Same as the intro. I'll okay. Play that to the end. Do mm -hmm. Yeah. Two, three. Easy as pie. <laughs>